Hi, my name is Francesca Duval, and I am recording this from Alchemist Farm in Northern California. Here today is my giant helper, Casanova. Casanova got his name because if he could, he'd love all the ladies in the barnyard. But he's only allowed to love his own breed, which is a golden laced Orpington. He is a big, big boy. He's heavy, he's fluffy, he really feels like a stuffed animal for a grown up. As I hold him really close to my chest, he just feels really sweet. He's calm, he's comforted, he's comforting me, and I don't have any fear that he's gonna peck me, spur me, claw me, or attack me in any way. And that's because we breed for temperament. So many people have horror stories of being attacked by a rooster when they were young. And it's just something that people think they have to put up with, that all roosters are going to be aggressive and mean and try and protect their hens and go after you and your loved ones. But me and Casanova, we're here to tell you that is just not the case. Chickens, roosters, all have the ability to cohabitate with humans in a really safe and sweet way. Whenever a rooster is showing any kind of aggression towards me, if I'm feeling the side eye from them, or if they start to scamper after me when my back is turned, we pull that rooster from the breeding program because we don't want to perpetuate that kind of behavior. Only nice boys that have a sweet temperament that are safe for children to be around get to participate in the breeding program. I'm so grateful to be able to connect with the Kellogg network of homesteaders and educators to get the word out that roosters are a really valuable part of a homestead. They protect the hens. They give you fertile eggs. They guide the hens around the barnyard to all the proper sources of good, nutritious food. They call them into the coops when there's a predator around. They're the last one into the coop at night to make sure all of the hens are feeling safe. They're so valuable and so many people are afraid to have them because they have this idea that all roosters are mean, but no, this rooster, all of the breeds that we work with here, well over 30 roosters on our farm are safe for even my one and a half year old to toddle right up to. He can pull grain out of the feeder, throw it on the ground for them. He can bend down and forward. And I don't for a second worry about any of the birds coming up and spurring him because we've bred for that. We make sure to pay attention to the birds as soon as they come into maturity. That's when you're wanting to see whose personality is gonna be doing what. It's the same with quail. As the roosters come into their manhood, their hormones shift, and they're either going to be really sweet gentlemen, just like humans, or they're gonna be testosterone flooded and not be so kind. So we watch really carefully during that time. And every now and again, a bird has to be pulled from our program and he's sent to freezer camp. We try not to waste anything here on the farm, so we usually turn them into stewing birds. We don't want to be perpetuating those kinds of genes. We want our family to be able to go out into the barnyard without a stick or a ski mask or giant gloves to protect themselves like so many people do when they go out into the barnyard. It's just not necessary. There are so many amazing breeds of roosters out there that can protect your hens and give you fertile eggs just if you select for it and pay attention to it. Isn't that right, Casanova? He's so chill. So if you're considering whether or not to keep a rooster in your barnyard, I recommend doing a little bit of research on proper breeds, on how much space you have, on if you want to be having your own little breeding program and getting a matching breed rooster to some hens that you have or just going with um, a breed that you know is tried and true, like a boy like this or a French black copper Moran's. They're really sweet. There's a whole world of sweet boys out there. If you have a sweet boy in your barnyard, I hope you cherish him. And if you have one that's not so sweet, it's okay to let him go. There's a whole world of sweet boys just waiting to come to your farm.